Hi, everybody. I, um, well, I got a new microphone as an early Christmas present. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice one, and I'm happy. Um, it was, I, I, I actually was given it. I didn't buy it myself, but, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was really nice. But anyway, um, so I am going to do a little bit of black book, test this out. I think I got all things, you know, evened out so it t sounds good. So we'll see. We're going to try it out. We're going to do it. I think it'll be cool. Yeah. So, let's go into it. Yeah. <laughs> My little in the... Wait, let me wiggle. <laughs> All right. Wait, there we go. Am I in the flame now? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like this has gone a little low, too. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Still feel like a little off frame. There we go. Perfect. Let's load up. Oh, coffee. Normally be tea, but I was feeling coffee this morning. And I was here by <laughs> dawn. And I was here by dawn. Uh, Vasilisa? You, you okay? <laughs> Got caught in the matrix a little? Why didn't you leave that short to make sacrifices? Huh? <laughs> oh, you guys are a little mad at me. Catch uh, the cockroaches. Yeah, well, because I didn't want sin. I'll think of something with the Vodinoi. Yeah. You'd better. We don't have time to search for another Vodinoi. Maybe I'll just beat the crap out of him. I'll probably die. Oh my gosh, he's going to be so All crazy. right, you need to go to the mill. I already sent a salt worker there. Do you think Vakul will break the seal? I don't think so. Um, because I messed up. No, I don't know. He'll do whatever he thinks of. Yes. He likes sacrifices. Maybe you can make him change his mind with money. Oh, too bad I spend all my money. I've been thinking about that Rusalka. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> You could try to buy out her soul, but what's the point? He'll let her go in 50 years or so. Okay. She's dead. She can wait. Okay. And what should mind. I watch out for at the water mill? I think you should be ready for anything. That demon wanted to meet there for a reason. Uh -oh. He has power there, as well as history. Great. Okay. I'm getting better and better with the book. Ha! <laughs> you bet. Knowledge is light. The okay. longer you hold on to this book, the brighter it shines. And the taller the shadow is behind your back. Hmm. Doesn't matter who holds this book, a girl or an old man. This shadow keeps growing and in time will cover villages, peasants, Friends and family. Why did you give me the book then, you lunatic? Finally, it gets to you. Okay. Well, time to go to the mill. <laughs> well, thanks for telling me, Grips. It's time to go to the mill. <laughs> it's not far from Guy in the village. You won't get lost there. That's hilarious. That's so funny. Uh. <laughs> it's like, whoop, well, I don't want to hear you talk and wax philosophical about this anymore, Grabs. Wow. There we go. Do -do -do. I'm going to double check a thing. Yeah. Do -do -do. Boop. Gaina Village. Okay. All right. To deal with our shorts. Uh, did I get another one? I did, didn't I? How many shorts do I got? No, I don't. I don't have another one. Good. Well, let's start. All right, you go to the first one. You go to the second one. Okay, so... So he gives me... 
one sin. One sin. He doesn't give me sins when I use him? Okay. Hailstorm. That's one I could do after I get my next level. Yeah, right here. Because there's this one, right? Okay, so it's, it's this one I have to get to. So two levels. Oh. Oh, so it'll still give me one minimum. Hmm. Nah. Alright. Uh, let's see, what's in my onomastica? Onomastica. Water mills. To increase the force of the water's flow, it was blocked by a dam. The wheel of the mill was spun by water flowing through a hole in the dam. Water propelled the blades of the wheel, or turbine, and in turn spins the axis that drives the other mechanisms. The mills were used not only for making flour, but also for cutting wood, metalwork, and stonework in cases where manpower wasn't enough. The payment that millers took was a tithe, a tenth of all the flour milled. The workers of a water mill were friends with mermaids, leshies, vaginois. Uh, on Pentecost, mermaids were believed to have weddings on the water mill's dam. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Alright. So let's go back. We have one visitor to go to. And nobody else is interested in anything. Okay. No, uh, I was actually learning about... Um... Water mills. Uh... I didn't, but... Um... My husband told me about it. And... It was... A dude who was going off grid and he made himself a stream like the stream he went he dammed it up and put a water generator there he created it all himself with spare spare parts and used it to run his whole house it's pretty cool and then he had solar power for when the stream wasn't enough that's pretty cool ah okay. Vasilisa, here you are hi prushka i've been thinking about that oh. wind and three sides and river shells oh are we gonna do your quest nice okay so you've remembered about being Sosietko in that is bar. Mm-hmm. Now, I think we should go back in the church in Yenidor. Maybe something will come up there. Okay. Go to the church. Let's go. But is there anything left? Centuries have passed. Yep. We'll search near the foundations, in the cellar. All secrets are hidden underground. You know that better than most. All secrets are hidden underground? Okay. When we'll be in Galbets. Maybe then I can tell some future. I am a Sosietka after all. That's true. Okay. Uh, well, what did I... What popped up? Divination in Golbets. The connection between the Golbets and the underworld, the world of the dead, is obvious. It was a place where Domovoy were said to dwell if he did not already live behind the furnace or in the attic. It was also a place for Yuletide groom divinations. These divinations were for young women who were about to become old maids, whose peers, girls of the same age or one or two years apart, were already married, or those whose little sisters were already married. Divination was frightening. A girl would go down to the gold bits in secret, having let her hair down. She would remove her belt, her cross, her beads, and her dress. Wow. Wearing only a robe, she would light her mother's wedding candle and look into the mirror. Sometimes two mirrors were placed to create a corridor of reflection. Once she saw her groom, the girl was to cover the mirror at once. Otherwise, a chort would come out and strangle her. Okay. I know it's pretty desperate to get married back in those days because you couldn't really take care of yourself, but oh my god. That's why I like spinsters so much. And I'm a spinner, so I, I would have been a spinster. <laughs> well, I mean, I am married, but... Eh. Okay. Road to Yanyador. This road goes east to Ridgort. From there, it's not far to Yanyador. All right, let's go. Proshka stops every now and mm. then. Circling around a bit, he hesitantly proceeds on his course. It seems as if something is bothering the demon, something about the road ahead that he hasn't himself realized yet. At the next stop, a gust of wind blows dust in your face. Could it be a demonic wedding? Ooh, I've never seen the option to hide. I kind of want to fight because I need money, but I kind of want to hide too. Mm. Whatever. I want to fight. 999! Okay, I gotta kill him in one turn because I can't survive that. 
And there's no Prushka? He ran away? Okay, how can I do 25 damage in one turn? Oh, okay, so I gotta use that. Oh, wait. Unless, maybe... Uh... Well, let's try it. Okay. I should have hid. I got two rubles out of that, and now I have two health. <sighs> I guess hopefully I'll end up being able to check cemetery or something. Crossroads, the wind has picked up. It better not be rain. We'd be stuck here in Yanyador for who knows how long. Oh, I guess, I, I mean, that makes sense. The road whirlwind is a harbinger of yeah. a northern night. The wind bends the trees and sends mm. dust and leaves flying to the empty spaces of the Yanidor crossroads. Somewhere deep in the forest, a lone wolf begins his song. Proshka stops in hesitation once more. Huh? What a wind. What a wind. Why are you standing there, Proshka? I got a thing. <laughs> I remembered. I used to visit this place often. Okay. Doing what? Perhaps when I was alive, one of the chutes. Okay. Doesn't look like my church was worshipped in much, does it? No, it doesn't. All you think is about being worshipped. Mm. What else could happen in the crossroads that tied Proshka to this place? Maybe funerals? Maybe you were buried here. Were you a great sinner? People, okay. Sounds about right. That's how I became a Susietka. Ah, okay. Let me think. I think I'm remembering something. Dig here. I don't want to dig up your grave. Dig, I say. What a thick-headed witch. Man. Do it. All right, as you wish. But if there's nothing there... You dig up the earth Ooh. near the road where Proshka told you to. Under a thin layer of dirt and near a rotten log, you find a silver plaque. Proshka <laughs> furrows his feline brow, but doesn't feel any memories returning. Okay, I didn't read that one. Chud goddess. The lower world is one of legs, the middle world of one's hands, and the upper world above the head. Okay, sure. All right, this bridge is quite flimsy. Oh my god, wind. One strong gust of wind, and I think we're gonna fall off this freaking bridge because do you hear this wind? My god. Jeez. The old bridge creaks from the cold wind, the cold water of some swampy river rippling beneath it. In the middle of it, you notice forest chorts looking at you with their cold, lifeless eyes from the reeds. Uh, let's see how Pushka uh, handles this one, I think. The demon needs only lift his paw for the forest spirits to scramble in panic. You look at him in amazement. Was this his doing, or do the spirits know about the power of the Black Book? Nice. Okay, oh, what's over here? Herbalist near the stone. Today there's an herbalist trading by the bloodstone. Um, I don't think I want any. I'll go see her. Maybe, maybe she'll do something. I think I need to save my money to talk to Vakul, because I might either have to kill You're him not or what we consider an average girl, are you? No? In that case, I'll show you some fine wares. Here, take a look. You're cute. Let's see what she has to offer, at least. <laughs> Anything really cheap, but not too bad. <sighs> I've got quite a few Adam's head. Um, nah. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the Louvlin swamps. These swamps never stop spreading. They'll swallow Yanyador eventually, by the looks of it. Okay. 
rip it in your door. <laughs> the northern wind bends the treetops. Their rustling fills the swamps with a rhythmical noise in which you hear the whisperings of leshies and the wings of demons flapping beneath the ground. You stop for a minute, thinking of how ancient these forests truly are. How many centuries have they stood here? How many centuries will they stand yet? Your meditations are interrupted by Proshka's grumbling. Yanidor is close. Oh, that two health is going to be brutal if I have to get into a fight here. Oh my god, okay. I am going to have to... I should have bought some herbs after all. I just remembered that I had two health. Ah, we'll see. Ooh. You know, it's beat up, but it's still pretty. It makes me want to build one of these in uh, Valheim. Actually, that would be totally doable. Uh, give to me herb. Herb. Okay. Twinier. 50 householders, when building a windmill, bury three twin ears right beneath the place where the door should be. Oh, okay, it averts evil. I don't know what that means. Are you an herb? You're not actually an herb. You just look like an herb. Any more herbs? Ooh, herb. Give to me. Cuckoo tears. A young bride turned into a cuckoo. This herb grows wherever she flies and sheds her tears. It can be used to turn werewolves back into their human selves. Okay. Transfiguration church. This church looks empty now. I don't want to enter yet. I want to see if there's any other things to look at. Let me see. Can I go behind behind it? Can I? Secrets? Secrets and sacrets? No. No secrets. No sacrets. Maybe over this way. Eee, run. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you in just a second, Pushka. I apologize. Is there anything over here? Oh, nope. I don't think I see anything, so let's talk to Pushka. What a dump, right? Look at all this rotten wood. Why do you keep insulting your church, man? And it used to all be so fine. Uh, you want me to rebuild your church for you? Don't just stand there, Vice. <laughs> there is the door to the Undercroft. Open it. Okay. All right. Come. Come. Chill. Bird. Bird. Chill. I just said bird. I'm so used to talking to birds. And them freaking out about things. Let's see, pictures? Some pictures are mixed in with the icons. Oh, wait, I forgot. Were they gifted by prisoners? I forgot I could do, oh, nope, do not open that yet. Is there anything? Oh, there's more stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Sculpture? I forgot I can have multiple things pop up. A bit of a strange face for an angel. Looks like a chid's idol. Ah. Library? Old church books. I'd like to study them, but there's no time. I doubt they have anything about Prushka in them. Okay, anything else over here? Goods and chattels. Old kitchenware. Old kit. Okay, that's. Okay. Alright, let's it's talk to It's not Prushka. as simple as that. Okay. Search the chests. Perhaps you'll find something. Okay. What am I looking for? Yeah. How would I know? Now, don't look at me like that. There are icons all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You don't like it's it. It's bad for me to look at them, you know. But you're a societ, I, I mean, I guess, I don't know. All right, okay, I'll go open some chests and stuff. Let's go. Is there chests over here that I can open now? Did it, like, open them up? No? Okay, I can't open that chest. So maybe in here? Planks? When you approach the old wooden planks, you feel a draft. Move Behind the planks. the planks, you see a narrow crawl space leading deeper underground. Uh, let me go back and just talk to Pushka one more time real fast. It's not as simple. Search the chest. What am I looking for? How would I know? Now, don't look at me like It's bad for me to look at them. Okay, well, I guess, I guess, I guess we'll go back here then. Anything else? Is there any other chests here? Okay, can't look chest. Okay. I was trying to open the chest. Behind the planks, option. you see a narrow crawl. Go in. Let's go. Ooh. Cracks in the idol, idols, river shells. Idols have river shells scattered around them. 
Oh, ah, was just talking about his um whole thing. Majestic idols of old are now lying in heaps in this dank and wet dugout. The eerie faces of the forgotten deities seem to emanate a cold draft. One of the idols is missing his carved face. That's the face on the angel in there. Okay. They're so majestic. Oh. Are they? Anything else in here that I'm missing? Okay, I think I have to go get that face off of the I've thing seen this idol, Vasilisa. I do too. You've been in this dugout before? Uh. Yes, but when? Was it long ago? <laughs> I've seen these idols, Vasilisa. I have to. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Something is missing. As if one of the passes on the hunter's calendar has disappeared. The passes. The tribal signs of Komi Permians and other Fino Ugric people. Add it, and everything fits right into place. Okay, so I need to go get that face, I feel like. Alright, so let's go back. Give to me the face. An ancient wooden angel is watching you indifferently. You peer into his face, and mm. it looks as if he's wearing a wooden mask. You Move touch the mask. the mask, and it falls to your feet. Its image reminds you of the strange chorts depicted on the idols of the demons. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Anything else about this? An ancient wooden angel is watching you indifferently. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I was seeing if there's anything down Behind the planks, the you see a narrow... Let's go. Let's go in. I'm eager now. All right, put... The mask. Majestic idols of old are now lying in heaps in this dank and wet dugout. The ear. It. Ooh. Uh, I'm underground. This is not ideal. Ooh. Am I seeing the past? I think I remember. I remember everything. Oh, Voipel. But look, what's happening to me? Are you turning into a chewed god? That's right. That's how I used to look when they called me Voipel. Ah, uh, yeah, a god in Komi Permian mythology. The name is translated to or as North Wind. Uh, so Prushka is the god of the North Wind. That's why he wants to be worshipped all the time. Hunters used to bring me river shells from the north, and I flew with the all-knowing wind with no rest and no respite. Ah. Prushka, is that you? E apparently. Vasilisa, I remembered everything. All thanks to you. I hope I don't have to fight the North Wind with two health. Okay. Your name was Voipi. Who are you? Okay. I used to be a god. The lord of the northern wind and master of the true people's destiny. Those who lived in the forests of Cherby. That's cool. I was once powerful for a time. Oh. Other gods came and believe in me dwindled. Thou shalt not worship the idol of Voipil, and thou shalt not give out funeral fists to him. And thus it came to be. Ah, that's why the funerals. The lights of altars dwindled, and so did my powers. Okay. Are those your idols beneath the church? Huh. Yes, they are. It was my last temple. This dugout. Oh. I still remember that woman. Didn't want to lose the old faith. Ah. Uh, so you wasn't just a sisieto. She hid my idols and put my face on the angels. That's how I survived. As a demon. How the mighty have fallen. But in a halo of ecclesiastical glory. Which is why he's not completely evil. And he doesn't have to pester people. Why all the shells? 
This is my symbol. My ears. So he uses the shells to listen. I used to be omnipresent in this area. Oh. I used to cool the ferocious flame of the sun with my wind. But that time is long gone. All that's left are these shells. Huh. Bones of the past, long forgotten. Okay. Let's what will talk. you do now? Yeah. I'll stay with you. I am in your debt. Okay. It's not like I've suddenly grown in power. The universe has been turned upside down. The gods of all that are today's demons. Mm. And so did I. When people forgot about me, I forgot about myself. Ah. And lost my erstwhile power. Aww. But now my past has returned, along with some of my strength. I will help you, Vasilisa. Level up! Who knows what other rebirths can I undergo? Nice! Oh, well, we figured that out, I guess. Okay. So Purushka's a god. Sure. Yep. That's why he's like, I'm a cat, worship me as though I were a god. Because he was a god. Mm. Okay, well, that was cool. <laughs> this is going to be a, a shorter episode, but that's not bad. I think it's actually a good thing because I need to test this out. What a better way to do it. Right? Well, anyway, uh, thank you guys for coming with me on this, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye! Scrap Chris out!